Welcome back to our K Garage. As you might be able to see here, amazing sticker. So I uh, myself a set of the big daddy manifolds. I forgot what he calls them. You know, all the power, all the boost. The big boy, same as what he runs on F4 essentially, but slightly different from what he told me, just different routing from options and whatnot, but essentially exactly the same. Um, his advisor, this is a box I need to open first. I have a second box here. There's two more coming in the mail, so this will just be a well, one part video for you guys, but for me I'll be filming it in two parts. Um, so I'm gonna open it all up on camera and then talk about some of the, the parts that I got to go with it all. So we'll see what's in this one first, but you know, get the old trusty. Definitely not the sharpest tool in my shed. Sticker on it first. Beautiful packaging, gotta love it. First up, what do I say? This, read this, can't. So, set that aside for now, and we'll get reading. And it says as follows, so Reese, <clears throat> or Mr. RK Garage. There we are again, 9.6 at 144 mile per hour. It is, however, I'm aiming at burying that bitch. So far into the, so far into the nines that even I will struggle to beat it again. So you're gonna have your work cut out for you to keep up. I fucking hope at least anyway, he writes in brackets. I do, however, want to see you come at me with a proper man's mission. <laughs> That's gold. <laughs> Without one of those uppy downy things you were talking about using. Ah, that'll be because I was talking about one of those sequential S1 shifters. I don't think it's going ahead at this point, so it still will be a complete man's mission at this point. I understand if you want to use a clutch release valve as well, as I don't think. Ow. Barges will get off the line smoothly without that one. In these boxes, you will find your new manifolds. I've taken the liberty to sign the crossover for you. He's got a winky face of that, so that'll be uh, very interesting. I hope you like them and bring you to your goals. Just shy of me, he writes in brackets. <laughs> Cheeky fucker. I'm looking forward to seeing how they go for you. May the best man win and may the boost be with you. I can't wait to see the setup and you run some passes, but I don't think my calendar, I think it says calendar, is long enough to get you an accurate ET. He signed it, CFB, common fed boost. So hopefully I'll remember that I'll scan that and I'll put that up on there for people to um, pause and read it themselves if they want. We got that. So continue in here. So ooh. looks like he has sent me a t-shirt. <laughs> what a cheeky fucker. I don't know if you guys could see that but he's wrote I'm too slow for this legend with an arrow pointing <laughs> to corn fed boost. That's great. Well, I think I've got a mandatory uh, change I gotta do and then I'll be back. There it is. All right, <coughs> continue with the box. Pretty short, just packaging. Look at this guy, wasting his print of paper to get it in there. Oh, look at this. Maisie sticker. Another uh, flight tag. Oh, and some more corn fed boost stickers. That is amazing. I love that shit. So, I actually want to whack them back in there. So, another part that I have. So, I had ordered this. 
came to me. I opened it up, had a look at it, and I Sorry. sent it sent it to Corn Fed Boost to uh, use so you can weld everything on. I uh, asked him to send everything back, so I had it all. So I have a Turbo Smart, what is it? Progate 50. And these are apparently clockable, comes with a tool. I've got all different springs and, and fittings and a block off bung for the water or whatnot. It also came with two flanges, so, well, oh, sorry, that's for firing there. Got firing there. Two V bands to go on either one. Um, both the other side of these are flat V band flanges are already on the manifolds. I'm assuming. So that's that. Turbo Smart Progate 50 for my boost control. So that is awesome to see that back. Now. Now, I was going to wait and open this till uh, the rest of the other boxes come, but I think I'll just open this now and then after this it will cut to the next video of the rest of the stuff. So, let's get this uh, trusty blunt cutting device. So. Okay. <clears throat> Got all the foam off. Now it's time to take his cover off here. It's time to uh, probably need to read it that way. So I'm going to flip it, read it myself. You guys will see my reaction, and I'm going to turn it towards the camera so you guys can see. Let's see what's so secretive about this crossover. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Hopefully you guys can see that. <laughs> that is a dick and wolves. <laughs> He's ticked on to my crossover. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> fucking hell. All right, that's into part one for me. So it's gonna click over in a second. You guys will see the uh, Unboxing the rest of the manifolds. <laughs> Alright, so it's another day. Like I said, it was. Package is just rocked up, so I'm gonna open them. These will be the other two bits of the, uh, the manifold, the, the runners, all top to the heads. And there should be something else in here as well. Alrighty. Oh. This guy was the packaging again. Oh, this guy. Look at him. Puts rags, puts fucking bubble wrap, everything. Ah. The old scream apart. All right, so here we have the driver side of a manifold nice v-band on there these are like we're going to be absolutely great to get to all the bolts all the spark plugs as well will actually be reachable this looks awesome so that's that one and then i asked him to make up a little uh screamer pipe for me which is awesome so it looks like he stepped up to um two inch from the 50 mil, so I think two inches like 50, 52 or 54 millimeter, something like that. So that's awesome. This one here should be the uh, passenger one. Alright, 
and here we have the driver's side manifold which once again looks great plenty of access for all the spark plugs which is a nice change for me the quality of the welds and the pipe and everything is really good as well this is really nice that's awesome all right so the next bit Since I changed to a T4 manifold, I uh, had to get a T4 rear housing. So it's a 1.06 T4, and you may be wondering why am I sticking with the same turbo? Well, I am, but I'm not. It's a uh, GT35 frame, but if anyone's a regular follower, you may recognize this turbo. So been on the car since I've had it. So essentially it's my genuine Garrett core, this same compressor cover, but my uh, turbo sponsor had a new product out. So uh, you guys might have heard of a Garrett GT 3584 RS, um, rated to make a thousand horsepower at the motor. I think someone's maxed them out. At, I think it was just over 900 over in the States. So that should be good for probably close to 900 horsepower and whatnot here in Australia. But new turbine wheel. I don't know if you guys have seen before, but my old turbine wheel was munted. Uh, I'll try and find a photo of the old one. So he's put his, uh, I think it's a nine blade or 10, 10 blade, whatever it is, his custom design turbine wheel on it. But the real fancy bit is all in here. So. The uh, GD3584RS has a 67mm inducer and a 84mm exducer on the compressor side. So this guy has got a custom one, it's a 70mm inducer and an 84mm exducer. So 3mm bigger on that, should hopefully flow some more, maybe might make a little bit more power, depending on if it's uh, the other turbine side that's maxed out, but this will be going on, I might be getting this powder coated black or I'll just um, spray it black in the wrinkle wrinkle black spray at Skid Factory and rant and rave on about a lot. So yeah, so this turbo here, this rehousing here, um, hopefully should get me to about 850 to 900, hopefully pushing it. Uh, seven, I'm, I'll settle for like 750 to 800 on this turbo. And after that, I'll upgrade and then I'll be going after Confed Boost for the power horse. But um, this turbo here should come online 2000 RPM before his does without spray. So on the street, this turbo should feel amazing. But anyway, that's all the stuff for this bit. There's still another reveal later on uh, once it's done. And then we should be getting into the building of the motor series so that should be really awesome so if anyone's been thinking about getting some corn fed boost manifolds i highly recommend it um, they turned out awesome corn fed boost turnaround time was really quick postage was a good price he wrapped them really nicely everything was safe and protected it was done really well uh yeah i'm super excited to get these on the car and see how they go so that's all for this one so i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment